In this video, I want to explain how you can do niche research using Amazon.com. So when you're building a site through Nicheify, there are a few ways you can research your niche. If you already have a niche in mind, then that's great. You can use keyword tools, but really the most obvious and most direct way since you uh, will be promoting Amazon products is to just find your niche within Amazon itself. And this is really easy to do because Amazon has uh, done a lot of work to nicely, neatly organize the millions of products that are available uh, at Amazon.com into departments, sub-departments and, and brands and other categories. All you need to do is find it and select the one that will be the most profitable uh, for your niche site. And I'll explain how to do that right now. So when you go to Amazon.com or it could be Amazon.co.uk or the India version of Amazon or China version, depends on what you want to work with. Then you should see something like this that says Explore Amazon. Okay, And this is only if you have absolutely no idea what you want to do. Under Explore Amazon, you'll see the primary categories over here. And as you put your cursor or your, or your, uh, your arrow here, you will see subcategories as well. All right, so this can be very intimidating at first, but you need to spend some time to get an idea of um, what interests you and also maybe what are, the, what are the topics that you can work with that you're confident of building content with and also uh, getting traffic to. Okay, so let me go with something that I feel comfortable with. Okay, I'm going to sports and outdoors. Okay, because I recently have been getting a lot into sports and fitness. So yeah, it's something that I'll be interested in. Now let's look at the subcategories over here. You have sports and you have outdoors. So outdoors, mm, I, d I don't want to do this any of this. Okay, I want to click on exercise and fitness. So these are all very general categories in Amazon. Do not build a site on exercise and fitness. That is way too broad for you to be successful with a niche site. What you need to do is look at the left section here in the sidebar. Now Amazon will break down exercise and fitness into more categories over here. You can also find some subcategories uh, at the top. So training clothing, cardio training, elliptical trainers, heart monitors, strength training, treadmills, yoga. So let's go through uh, some of the options here. All right, so let's take something smaller, okay? The more niche your site is, the easier it will be for you to set up products because you don't want to set up thousands of products at the same time, okay? And, and if a niche has, you know, like 30,000 products, you know, you will never get to the end of it. So let's select a niche that has a reasonable amount of products, let's say between 100 to 200 and that will make it more logical for you. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm just going to select something. I'm going to select kettlebells here. Okay, so we have um, kettlebells. Okay, and now Amazon will give you more options here to filter your search and pay attention to this, okay? Because these keywords, for example, uh, steel, okay? Now that will be a very good niche within the niche of kettlebells itself. It'll be a more of a micro niche. So these are steel kettlebells. You have Russian kettlebells, rubber kettlebells, adjustable kettlebells, vinyl kettlebells, okay? And you also have the option of price here, okay? So you can build a site on cheap, uh, cheap kettlebells. You can build a site on premium kettlebells. You know, the, the options are unlimited over here, okay? So let me select one. I'm going to select vinyl kettlebells. And now as I check that, Amazon will only show me features or only show me products from this category, a feature keyword, vinyl kettlebells. Okay, so these are the vinyl kettlebells. All right, so this could be a niche that I would want to work with. But really, um, what you want to check is for a few things okay you want to check that there is enough products in this category so right here i can see that there are 258 results for this category and you can see the breakdown here you can see the breadcrumb here okay so you're going really really niche here you're from sports and outdoors sports fitness to exercise strength training equipment and kettlebells and you go to vinyl 
Now, if there are not enough products in the micro niche, then you may want to revert back to uh, the uh, not so micro <laughs> niche. Okay. Now, a few things that you need to check. Check that the price of the products that you see here is acceptable. Okay. You can sort by featured. You can sort by price. Okay. Low to high, high to low. And make sure that you're not promoting products that are like six bucks. Okay. Because if you make a sale for a product that is six bucks and your commission is 4%, now that's, that's a puny amount of money that you're getting. And you'll be putting in lots of effort and you may make lots of sales as well, but really you don't see a significant income. Okay, so perhaps this is not really the best niche to work with. So I can always try other stuff. Okay, I can try hard monitors. Okay, and in hard monitors as well, you have different types of hard monitors. You have wrist-based hard monitors, you have Bluetooth hard monitors, you have hard monitors for women. And this really, when you browse through Amazon, you start to discover lots of different niche, sub-niche and micro-niches that you never even thought existed. And this is only possible through Amazon because Amazon is the largest online shopping site in the world. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this running and okay, the price looks okay, 45, 59. There's definitely a more scientific way to do this, but you know, it involves getting lots and lots of additional tools and costing you lots of money. For now, I would recommend that you just use your common sense. And if you see lots of reviews, okay, we have 5,400 reviews over here, 2,400. That is another good sign because it shows you or it tells you that the market is really actively looking for stuff like this. I mean, people who take the time to review a product are people who are hungry for more products. And when they buy something, they want to share with the world what they think about the product. So definitely having lots of reviews uh, in this category is a good idea. All right, so now that I have um, heart rate monitors, so let's, let's browse to the options here. For example, I want to build a site on wrist heart monitors okay all right so now this will be a good niche to build on we have products that have reasonable price here so it's 269 uh, 263 dollars and if i make a sale for this product it is uh, quite some um a reasonable amount of commission that i'll be getting and i can see that there is good demand for this because of the number of reviews offered in amazon okay so I can take uh, the product name here, Polar FT. All right. And I can go to Nishify, of course, go to store products. And I can click on add new product. I can enter the keyword here. All right. And you find the exact same products that is available in Amazon and you can add this to your Nishify store. Now, one thing to remember, um, and this is the advice I, gi I give many people, is that do not try to be Amazon. I mean, don't try to sell millions of products from your niche five store. It just does not work. You have to select a niche that is logical for you to build a really good, powerful authority site. Keep in mind that you may be working alone. Amazon has thousands of employees and thousands of employees just to maintain the site and to write the descriptions etc so if you select a reasonable niche with good products something that you can manage by yourself then you can be quite successful but don't ever build one nicheify site and try to fit many different niche markets into that nicheify site so if this site is going to be about risk based uh, heart monitors okay heart rate monitors on the wrist then I would not want to add another category that's totally unrelated. For example, wireless equipment or external hard drives. Those are completely unrelated to sports and fitness. So I want to build one site on one niche topic. Remember, of course, with Nicheify, you can have many sites. So build one site on one niche topic. If you have a good idea, 
to build an, uh, to monetize another niche set that up as a different site and that is the best advice i can give you to build a successful affiliate website with nicheify